Hello, I'm going to show you how to connect the Redware Power BI connector to QuickBooks Online. We're going to register the software at redware.com. We're going to download it and run it on a Windows machine to create the snapshot of the data locally. Upload that data to Redware and then open up a template app and also a PBIX to get the data into Power BI. The first thing you have to do is to register and download the software. I'm afraid currently you need a Windows machine to create the snapshot. We're going to sign up here at redware.com at the top left. And we're going to choose a product, which is the Power BI connector for QuickBooks Online. Once we're registered, the important thing here is to keep hold of this serial number. You can copy it there. And then if you click on install the connector, it's going to take you to a Windows installation, a click once installation. And if you press install, it'll download you a setup file and then you can open that up and run it. When the application launches, now you can register your license. If you go to setup and if you click on license, press add, paste in your license and press save. Now that we're licensed, the QuickBooks menu appears here and we can set up the connections to QuickBooks. But before that, we're going to pretend that we're a multi-company here and I'm going to add a US and UK companies. We can go to the QuickBooks page now to log on to QuickBooks. So we have QuickBooks UK and US. We'll try and join to the QuickBooks UK version first. So as we sign in, QuickBooks is going to give us a choice of the companies that we have. And we can choose the UK version. You'll see a connect button. And then you'll see our browser will say that it's connected and we can move on and install the US version. When you've successfully logged on, you'll see this web page. And you can close the web page and you'll see here that it's connected through to your QuickBooks. And now you can go and do the same for the US. Now that we're connected to both QuickBooks, we can go to the Power BI page and generate the snapshot of the accounting data. We need to make sure that both are selected and then we do create data files. And what that's going to do is it's going to write eight or nine text files through to this folder that you can see here. And then it's going to upload it to the web so that we can access it from Power BI in the cloud. When you see these messages that it's uploaded to the web and 13 data files are created, you know it's complete. You could have a look, if you like, at the spreadsheet tables here, the TXT files, and you're welcome to use that data if that's what you need to do. Also, if you click modify here, you can see the PBIX that will come through. So we've created the snapshot of our QuickBooks data, which you can see in these text files in the output folder. But also they've been uploaded to the web so that we can get hold of them in the cloud as a Power BI cloud user. So to do that, you can get hold of the template from the Microsoft App Store when it's available. But for now, if you go to the Power BI QuickBooks Connector page, you can scroll down, you can see the report here, but you can download the Redware Connector template app, which is going to connect us through to our Power BI account and then prompt us and ask us if we want to install the template file. And once it's installed, we can download the data from the snapshot. When we go to the app, we'll see that the data here is our default data. It's in fact from uh, four or five different QuickBooks sample data. But what we need to do is we need to connect to our data. So we need our serial number 
An easy way to get that is to go to the setup and just copy it here. Here, connect to data. We can replace QuickBooks here with our serial number, and then it's going to prompt us to log in. We are doing basic login, and we need to use the same login that we used to log in to Redware. When we've done that, we can sign in, connect, and the data will download and refresh from the web down into our template app and we'll see the data that we've just snapshotted. And that's it for the template. Uh, you can share and publish the template throughout your organization. Uh, but now I'm going to show you how to connect with a PBIX, which will give you the flexibility to modify and change this report. For the PBIX, it's similar. We need a snapshot in the cloud, and then we can access that from the PBIX. So one way to get the PBIX is to uh, click Modify here, and it, the PBIX will show up here. It's copied to this folder, so we can open it here. And another way to do it is to go to the QuickBooks Connector page and where you downloaded the template, and you can download the PBIX there as well. Of course, you need... Power BI desktop on your machine. But once it's here, this is the demo data again. We need to get our data. So we need to first edit the parameters and change where it says QuickBooks. We need to change it to be our serial number. And then we need to also put in the credentials, which are the Redware credentials, which we do on data source, edit permissions. And we need a, to edit a basic, a basic username here and once we've done that when we press refresh it's going to pull the data down from the server and that will be our snapshot data and in another video we'll show you how to schedule that or to push it through OneDrive if you prefer now that you've got the data inside your PBIX you can edit this. You can do whatever you want to this report. And if you look here on transform data, you'll see these are our data files that get refreshed and you have access to all the data and you can do whatever you want with them. So that should really get you started on your Power BI journey. And we're going to have a series of videos for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you successfully connect your QuickBooks snapshot to power bi using the redware connector please let us know how you got on at support at redware.com we're going to have a series of videos on how to recreate that pbix so if you're on the beginning of your power bi journey you'll learn how to make your own reports using this data hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching